Hi there, my name is Gemma Hepworth and welcome to my first online video blog for performers. Now I say performers because I don't just want this to apply to actors, I also want this to apply to dancers, singers, comedians, anyone in the performing industry. Kind of a word of advice and a nice kind of chat over a cup of tea. Us actors, we love to catch up over a coffee or a bite to eat, but sometimes not all of us can get out there to do that. And I'm just here now to just generally chat about the industry, I guess. So, first up. Now, what inspired me to do this is this week I've been asked to do two self-tape auditions. Now, anyone who's not sure about what that is, basically, instead of going to the audition and being physically in the audition room, you're there recording yourself at home with your iPhone like I'm doing now or on your laptop. Um, now, I think there are pros and cons to this, I'm sure we all agree. Uh, pros definitely being saving the cash and the time, you know, not all of us can get out of work. We can't all live on fresh air, can we, as jobbing actors and performers. So, I guess, yeah, saving the cash is a great one. You know, uh, two of my friends actually today have had to go down to London to audition. They live up north, northern actors, and they simply couldn't afford the train. The trains are just so crazy at the moment, the prices. So they went down on the bus, cliche actor style. They met some interesting characters. But it was cheap as chips and they're in London now. It's, it's a long journey, but obviously it's worth it to save the cash. So without digressing too much, that's the big pro of a self-tape audition. I think the con is, as human beings, it's actually nice to meet people in the flesh, isn't it? You know, that trustworthy meeting them face to face, getting a feel for their character and personality, seeing if they're right for the part, whether it's, yeah, a dance role or an actor role or a presenter role. Personally, I call myself actor slash presenter because I do a bit of both, you know. It's not really whatever pays the bills. I think I've got a big passion for both. So don't be ashamed to say, oh, uh, I'm an actor and a presenter or oh, I'm an actor and a singer. You know, we've all got to be a bit of a jack of all trades today. Definitely, definitely have. That's, that's the difference, I think, in our generation as performers at the moment. So yeah, back to this kind of meeting face to face. It leads me nicely on to the whole networking thing as a performer. Um, is it essential? Is it not? We're all told we have to network in whatever way. Last night was an example. Um, our union, Equity, had a nice little summer party in our northwest region. I'm based here in Manchester, up north. I'm a native Yorkshire lass, of course, but I'm based in Manchester. And they held a summer party for us all. Um, now, it wasn't really a networking event. It was just kind of a celebration, a get-together. The 24-7 Theatre Festival Festival's just finished here in Manchester. And, yeah, there were a lot of familiar faces. You know, it's lovely to see the same faces in one room writers, directors, actors, performers. My agent was there, it was good to catch up with him. I think personally I went clearly because I knew my agent was going, it was nice to catch up with him. Uh, also my fellow actors in the agency were going to be there and I knew of course a lot of my actor friends would be present as well, you know, just getting together, having a bite to eat and a drink. So yeah, personally I went for that reason but it did kind of turn into a bit of a networking thing and my agent did say, you know, oh, Gemma, you're a really great networking person and, you know, it, it does you good. And, 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 and I suppose that is a positive, but I don't know. I don't think I do it purposefully. I think I just love to meet like-minded, proactive performers in my industry. And, you know, we don't just want to meet them on set or backstage before we do a gig. It's nice to actually meet them as a friend and just whether it's to have a rant or a nice little chat or a catch up with what's going on or even you know last night there were a lot of celebration a friend of mine won the best actor award at 24 7 festival and there were a few writers there who were you know chatting about the future projects so yeah I think it's nice to keep in the loop and I think social networking is a very very kind of well it's, it's a definite positive at the moment for us twitter fantastic you know 
performers retweeting things, letting each other know what's going on, or whether it's an audition or whether it's a show or whether it's, you know, a new piece of writing. Manchester's fantastic for that kind of fringe, new writing, getting actors involved, you know, all that kind of scene. I think we really need to look at that, that it's a, a very, very big positive in Manchester. And yeah, so I think the networking, I think my advice to you all, don't force it. It's definitely um, not a very nice, not a very nice look to be kind of looking desperate to network and forcing it and, you know, schmoozing, as we say. I think just be friendly and be yourself, you know, chat to writers and directors, chat to like-minded, positive people, whether it, you know, whether you're a student or a kind of old hat at this or even, you know, a jobbing actor, a working actor. I think it's really important to keep in touch with each other, you know, to lift each other's spirits whenever we're out of work or, you know, to kind of celebrate people who are working at the moment. I, 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 my friends on Twitter, I'm sure if you follow me, it's at Gemma Hep, by the way. Uh, I'm sure you'll agree, I love my inspirational quotes, especially for us performers. We all need that boost of positivity every now and then. I think, you know, it, it's not about kind of competing this. It's about, let we're in it together, let's do it together. You know, the industry's hard enough without kind of being a bit bitter. There's no need. So yeah, that's about it really. I only wanted to do a short little blog for my first one. I do tend to rant and digress, as I'm sure you've already seen. Um, if you've any thoughts, do tweet me. It's at Gemma Hep. I want to do more of these. I don't just want this to be a one-off. I just felt the need to do it last night because we're all there chatting about fantastic theatre in Manchester, fantastic talent in Manchester. I don't just want to keep it to Manchester, I want to put it out there to London actors because I know I've got a lot of friends down there who I stay with when I audition or work down there. I want I want it to reach out to, to all the actors out there, you know, not just UK wide maybe, hopefully this will reach worldwide. I know it's a bit of a different ball game out there over, over across the pond but I'm sure it's nice to chat. So yeah, interactive. I want this to be interactive. I want you to tweet anything, any any questions. I'm not saying I know all the answers, but as an actress in her early 30s, um, who, who I would say, I'll, I'll blow my own trumpet. I, I think I am proactive. I want to just chat about things that you want to chat about and, and you know, let, let's keep this going. Okay, I'm going to go now. Uh, well, hopefully it won't be in my front room the next time. I just felt the need to get my phone out and reach out to you performers. I hope you have a lovely day. It's a bit grey, miserable here in Manchester. Have a fab day, and I'll see you soon.